There we go. Well, not the best weather, but I got to start clean it out and then uh, get a floor in. Taking a laminate plank, a vinyl plank, maybe a little bit of insulation. But you can get the planking with a little bit of uh, this pad on the bottom, which works well too. Clean it out and uh, take it from there. See, it still has all the seat belts in place. I guess the person could put them on if they're sitting on the bench here. So now we've got to take everything out and start over. Got some hoses in here. Must be to, I think it's the water system. This we got a hole down here, so I think the gray water tank went in here. But, uh, and there's a holding tank for the water. We'll figure it all out. Keep distracting myself. <laughs>
passenger seat out it's pretty easy pretty straightforward just four bolts on the bottom I'm gonna take the driver's seat out also because I'm gonna have to floor up to about here you see and I want to clean this up also and weather treat it but uh, I got the four bolts out so it should just pop out now for the four nuts there we go haha something there's something tied on here you know it's an old unit there's some farmer fixes on it yeah driver's seat out Just like that. Oop. Heat cover's hooked on. I think it's good to get all this stuff out, except for this main frame. Then I can start from the bottom and work my way up. It'll take a while, but it's fun. I take the engine cover off. I haven't even looked at the engine yet since I bought it. But they did a tune up on it, so we'll see how things look. A couple screws in here I gotta take out. Special cover art. Okay, now this cover. Oh yeah, well, that came off pretty good. Oh yeah. Now let's see what the engine looks like. Woo wee! Look at that. New wires. New ro uh yeah. I think magneto cap or rotor what do they call them? Rotor cap? Timing cap? Nice. And new sparking plugs. And it should be a new air filter. I'm gonna clean up that air filter on the outside, paint it up. The engine looks pretty good actually, eh? Pretty good shape. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit more. Right, today I'm filling in some screw holes in the floor. I want to screw down uh, flooring before or something, but I'm going to just fill them in with some uh, Bondo and fiberglass mixed together. Not that many, but you can see uh, those little holes that were uh, they had screwed a bunch more up front. So we'll get them filled in. 
and then put on a rust rust paint over top any bare metal I'm also going to try and fix up this fender here put a crack on it but I'll uh, get that filled in and then uh, move the vice grips once it's hardened in place and then finish off the last piece smooth it out and give it some paint So it's got a mixer up. Didn't take too much. A little bit down. And a little bit of the hardener. Hardener cream. Using an old swedge, old board. Make sure you mix her up real good. Maybe I'll do a little bit on the fender first. Or the flare. Wheel well flare. Sand that down after, a little more if needed. Now, move the head to the front, work my way back. And I'm uh, going along here. Sometimes I missed a couple. You can see where, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well, but it's sticking up a bit where the hole was because I pulled up the screw. So, hammer it down flush or a little below flush. And then uh, fill her in. Ta la! Just like that. Okay, got them all filled in. Went over like uh, three, four times. Pretty sure I got every hole. 
And then uh, once it hardens, I don't have to do anything with it because it's not up enough to bother anything. I may have to sand down a few small spots. And then we put the uh, anti-rust paint, even though 99% of this body is good here. We'll still put down some anti-rust paint and then insulation, plywood, and then um, laminate plank. If you're looking to uh, want to try and use some of this, you link in the comments. But yeah, it's a short strands of reinforced fiberglass filler. Works good, you mix her up, your hardener's in the top. I try to keep it all clean. So you can just put it all back together again. To use for next time. Takes uh, three or four minutes to start hardening. After um, 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, so you can file the excess excess amount off but I'm just going to leave it overnight okay today is supposed to be plus six so I'm good day to try to get some something stuff done on the van then it's supposed to get cold for another week or so but uh, then what I can I'm going to take off the top there on the, the air filter Clean that up, paint it, clean up the engine a bit, and then get the cover back on. And then paint the floor, paint the um, chair stands here, for the seats, I mean, for the seats. And yeah, then we'll be ready to put on some um, insulation, plywood, and laminate flooring. Let's see what I get done today. Okay, I got the uh, filter housing all painted up with uh, high temperature. Okay, so that's gonna look very nice. Did the TSP after sanding well, and uh, just to uh, get oily oils off and help the paint stick nicely. Okay, got it back on, painted up nicely. This one is actually from an 80, um, 88 G20. Unit is uh, 87, but 87 uh, does not have this airline. I think it's to feed air in, but this 88 does. So if anyone knows if I should be hooking some uh, hose to that, please let me know, but I'll try it. And let's see if it works fine. Now I'm going to stick the air feed out to the front of the vehicle, the one I got from eBay. Okay, got the air supply tube or whatever you want to call it on. Fit good. On to the end, cleaned up the engine a bit more. Now I just got to clean the floor one more time, vacuum, and start the painting process. Get those uh, seats back on. Okay, started the painting process, the ceiling, anti rust, and all that sort of thing. I'm just going to leave the co engine cover off because I painted the latches on it. So might as well let them dry good. But I'll continue on with the floor here and get it covered, sealed. Well, it's coming along good, covering nicely. Putting it on nice and thick, got a good seal. Take this last little bit to do, try and use it up. Can be sealed up nice. All done. Let that dry for a few days. Keep the heat going for a bit in here. And uh, then we're on to the insulation. Be sure to uh, subscribe, comment below, and look for uh, products in the in the description.